everybody, it's Miss Willow. Welcome to another episode of Farinland. Farinland is a roleplay Minecraft series that is modded with a bunch of dragon and fantasy mods, along with the mod that I'm coding, the Farindale mod. And I am an explorer trying to colonize a livable, working land on this deserted island. Well, not too deserted anymore. There is one neighboring island in sight, and I have bridged across. So... <laughs> If you enjoy this series and you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. It does help me. I know it sounds... Oh, please don't leave, dragon. No escaping. I forgot. I can't tame him yet. <laughs> um, it does help me reach new audiences who might also enjoy the videos. So that means a lot to me. So without further ado... There is a lot that I want to do today. So, I need to figure out how to tame this guy. I'm not quite sure what tames him. Even though I made him. He was like one of the first creatures that I made. So honestly, I do forget. I know that he eats apples. But there's something... Something else that he's bound to eat. Something. And I, I don't know what. <laughs> So, we have a whole bunch of eggs to collect, and I have an interesting, interesting, oh, brain, 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 an interesting dilemma. Okay, so I do have some dragons in this world um, from various mods. I have tamed, I have three tamed dragons, as you can kind of see in here. This was supposed to be an animal den. It was supposed to go deep underground and have all the different pens for different animal farm animals. And why don't you want to leave here? Is, is it because you can't have, is it because you can't have that in the way? Is that it? Ah, that would be weird. Um... I was gonna dig way down here, have a whole section for like cows down the row, chickens down the row, bees, and so on and so forth. But um, unfortunately, we have we have got ourselves a dilemma here because I have broken. You notice this wall is cobblestones. That is because. <sighs> There's ocean. Sorry, that takes me so long to to figure out what the word is for there. There's ocean. I was down there digging and I was hearing drowns gurgling and stuff. And it was really weird. So, we have you over here and you. And we actually have some names picked out. Thank you very much, Lord Griefington, for the wonderful name suggestions for these two dragons. Um, this one I am naming Magma, and this guy I am naming Flora. <laughs> so this is a forest fowl dragon, which is kind of like a big turkey, kind of like a cockatrice here, but not quite. It's a little bit more bird-like than dragon-like, but I'm still gonna consider it a dragon. This is a little uh, fire drake. Magma. Magma and Flora. Magma and Flora. We also need a name for our new cockatrice here, um, so if you guys have name suggestions, don't feel bad if I don't pick your name suggestion, but awesome if I do pick yours. Um, no hard feelings. It's just what I happen to really enjoy and think I'll remember. Um, so any name suggestions for this cockatrice here? Um, that'll be wonderful. So this guy is patrolling. I want you to patrol, actually. These guys will fight actively if they see any monsters around. They will fight actively to kill off all of those creatures with a laser beam. But again, this has ended up being... My point being is, can you come over here, Magma? Magma! Magma! Come over here! Magma! Over... Magma! I think this is a beautiful place. Thank you. I need you, I need you to sit, sir. Sir, ma'am! Magma seems like... Magma has an A at the end. Okay, perhaps... Perhaps Magma's a woman. Okay. <laughs> 
but we're gonna harvest from our trees um, and we have a couple of things that we want to do this episode which will be helpful first of all I want to make an actual animal den that was gonna be the animal den but it can't it has to be a storage and I have procrastinated telling you guys my goal with that for the last many minutes um, which is very suspicious <laughs> that I can't just like make something up to explain so <laughs> we have we bought ourselves from the Pony Express uh, stock trade over there we got ourselves some no no it's so easy to break the ground like this we got some moss blocks uh, for five bits, we got 32 moss blocks. So what we're, we've been doing is quiet, guys. And this is the exact reason why we need an animal den. Um, that other one is now just kind of a storage. Oh, there's apples! Little apple pips. My trees are growing. Oh, this is awesome. There's little tiny apples. I didn't know. It said it was an apple pip sapling. But I didn't know it actually was going to grow actual apples on the branches, on the leaves. That is so super cool. I love that. Do we have some more bone meals? Of course, the tree is going to take so long to grow. But uh, these trees grow very, very slowly. They are the dynamic trees, but I do want to eventually make those the leading species of trees in the series. I am playing with a couple different mods that is dynamic trees mod, uh, which does those cool looking trees right there. Um, Biomes of Plenty is making the really pretty biome that I live in. Ice and Fire, Pam's Harvest Craft, and the Farindale mod, which I'm actually still upgrading. But yes, we do have a trade which changes every couple days. You can purchase items with Farindale bits. Um, I spent 20 bits and that you can earn bits. I can earn, earn bits by farming and collecting goods and resources and trading them in for bits. Um, like stack of wood for one bit, 20 c grown crops, five cooked food. But my idea is because that is too small of a space to be anything more than just log storage or barrel storage or for my couple dragons, I am going to get more dragons in the future. But what we need to do seriously is make a big animal stables underground, which I can actually go into and explore. So. There is a lot that I need to do, and I need to decide where I want my stables to be. I don't know where I want them to be. I want them to be kind of into, into the mountainside. Like right here, having like clean this area out right here. Make like a tunnel. Let's see. We have a shovel. We can kind of... We can kind of go into here, like this, like so. And then make another entrance right here. Oh, this will take a while, but it's worth it because this series is supposed to last me. I want this series to last me years. But let's see, let's just, let's just clear out a little bit of the, oh, that's why we have another shovel, because we know we dig out a lot of dirt all the time. There we go. A little bit more, just kind of make a little crater in here and get a feel for the area. I want kind of like a triangular entrance, little kind of triangular dome going into the side of a hill or something and then going down into the ground. And that would be my entrance. See if you come over here 
and you e access, um, I need to eat really quick, this is unbelievable. <laughs> But I love seeing the buildings in the distance in the fog, having finished buildings peeking out from every corner of the island. See, if I enter this island like this, that didn't take too long. We have a little entrance way. Where actually, I want to pluck off a little bit more of these uh, grass mounds. Just make a nice, pure triangle in here. That seems fair. Clean out some of this, these weeds. We don't want the weeds. Just like that. And then see, what I can do is uh, collect these, collect these up, collect these up. One, two, three, four. And diagonally. One, two, three, four. Then you know what I can do here is like this. I can go one. Oh boy, I am in a rut here. This is gonna take a little bit of time. One, two, three. Or no, two, two blocks, two blocks, three blocks. We're gonna make a point outwards. Three, four. And then five. Please don't die. One. Two. I haven't built like this before, so trust trust the process. Three. It's nighttime. Four. Five. Okay. That is absolutely something. It is definitely a thing. I don't know how much I really like the thing in question. One, two. And then a block. And then down here. One, two, three. Then a block. Alright, I mean, I can kind of see the vision coming along. I can kind of see it. One. We're gonna need a lot more stairs, though. So we're gonna need our crafting table. And then one. Two. Three. Four and a and a oh and a block. <laughs> this is gonna take a long time, uh, but trust trusting the process is important. Trusting the process. Let's make some more stairs here. Okay. Do we have dirt? Of course we have dirt. We can actually build this dirt up like so. Oh my gosh! Why did I don't even think I pressed the keyboard there? That was that was hilarious. Uh totally not. One. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Just like so. And come down here. It doesn't have to be a full house. It can just be an overhang. Then a block. And then a... 
Then a little bit of like a, this action. And I wonder how this looks from the bridge. I want it to look decent. I want this to be a really big build. See, I can kind of see this working, actually. It's just going to triangle down into the side of the mountain. And that'll look very interesting, I think. Oh no, there's a Zamboozles coming. Zamboozles! No! He thinks he can get to me. And then a block. A block! Place the block! Thank you! I wonder if he's smart enough to go over there. I hope not. Daylight is falling. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then we can go like this. Let us just deal with him really quick. Got him. This does not look bad. That actually looks rather cool. I really like that. I actually really like that. Believe it or not, I think this design is something that I'm gonna do more often. More often than not. <clears throat> and then up to the side of the mountain. Just like that. Kind of level this off. And then we are going to need um, some kind of walls too. So a little bit of walls. Here, what is this doing here? Yeah, let's just level that out. <clears throat> yeah, that looks actually pretty good. Pretty good for uh, the start of an animal stables. One, two, some stairways down. Kind of round out the build. Yeah, make a clear entrance. Nice. Some wood for... For walls. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. I am not complaining about this. Not one bit. This is actually quite good. Oh, we gotta cover, cover this up a little bit. A little bit of stuff that we don't want seen there. Alright, let's take our crafting table down here. You know, this is this is going to be really cool. What am I seeing? Axe. Another axe. Ah, guys. You can live, Miss Willow. No. <laughs> I'm skipping the night. That's it. <laughs> okay. We continue. We continue our rampage. Look how awesome that looks from over here. A pumpkin head skeleton. Is this an October thing? I've seen it. I'm making a 100 days winterland challenge. Oh my gosh, and there was pumpkin head zombies like this. Is this some Halloween thing? Because it is. Oh, it is. It is Halloween. It is Halloween. That is why. That is exactly why. Okay, that explains it. That explains things thoroughly. Zamboozles, get out of here. Look at this pro gamer move. <laughs> oh no! 
We need another shovel! Another shovel to the rescue! We need a place for our animals. Through and through. Because I am so sick of having them in a pen right next to where I'm working. That is. Oh boy. So we have something here. Let's actually build a little bit more walls here. Oh no! Messed up- oh my god, I messed up again. Gotta look where I'm placing Miss Willow. Alright, does that look straight? It does for the most part. Okay. So, now what we can do is we can start working on a little staircase down. And this build will take a while. Understandably. And I, I know that I'm using a stone pickaxe and stone tools. I actually prefer them. You guys can get upset as much as you want. But I genuinely enjoy stone tools. They're easy to make. You can make a lot of them with very little resources, and they're just like a point something like percent less quick than <laughs> a less quick slower I mean slower than um iron tools. Except I'll use iron tools when there's actually some iron kneading thing that I actually desire to get like a resource or something then I'll use iron tools but I want to save up my iron for other cool recipes from the mods that might be really useful because there might be some kind of like an iron dragon in the future some kind of creature that requires iron in order to be tamed or something or it eats it and it fights with you or in battle so you need a ton of iron on you at all times. Oh my goodness, stairs make me the angriest. But here we go. Just a little step down here. We're gonna need some torches, but we're also gonna clean out this shrubbery. The shrubbery has to go. I'm sorry, shrubbery, you were beautiful, but we need a nice, clean, clear pathway here. That shrub can stay for now. But this is what we have to do. Let's actually blend in this place a little bit with some moss, mo mossy, mossy blocks. Blend it in a little bit, make it kind of lead outside. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That is that is really nice. Imagine like a tall lantern. A long draping lantern coming down from there. Now I'm even more proud of that little place. Oh, I can build up holy cow! I can build up a mound of dirt on top of the place and grow a big old tree right on top of that top pillar. See, I can access it pretty easily. But what I can do is actually like this. I can do like this. And then... Oh, here's all the dirt. 
The dirts are gonna be helpful. Oh, this is gonna be awesome! I can find, like, a big tree to plant there. Okay, you know what has to happen? I'm wondering, are these dynamic trees big enough right now that I can chop one down and get some seeds from it? Probably. Oh, the apples are ready. Can I actually grab some apples? I think they grow back because the leaves actually grow back. That is so cool. You know what? That is really cool. Maybe we put an apple pip here. Right on top of right, a big old tree. No apple pip sap? Uh. No. No sapling? Oh, no! No sapling? Oh my gosh! That's terrible! Do we get a sapling when we cut down this tree? Yes, we do! Okay, thank god. We get two out of it. Oh, see how long they have to grow? These have been growing for, like, ages. Mm. Oh, man. I could grow a big spruce. That spruce can be memorialized. Well, I can memorialize that apple pip tree by eating the apples. That is, that is so sad. I waited so long for that tree to grow, and it was beautiful with fruit. That would have been so cool to have on top of there. I need every square foot of this place to actually be... Oh man. I can turn this into some bone meal. Can I turn anything else into bone meal? Anything else? We have a little tree growing there. And this tree, I think, has to go. Unfortunately. It's right in the middle of the build. Sadly enough, we might have to take down one of the natural trees. Just for the sake of having that one big tree visible from far away. We're gonna keep these. These look fine. It's that one just kind of growing into the place. Oh my gosh, look at how cool that is! The roots come down! The roots come through! The roots... Do you guys see that? The roots come through the... <laughs> that is so cool! That is really cool, actually. We have another spruce cone that we can put somewhere. Let's grow that. That is actually really nice. These, not so much. They are... I think these are an eyesore. Personally, I think these are absolutely very weird. Very tall. If they were shorter, that would be fine, but we cannot see the place from there. Now we can kind of see it. That's really cool. I hope that tree goes really wide and thick and really awesome. That's going to be exciting to me. And even if we don't finish in this episode the animal den think that from afar, you know, we've got- we've gotten pretty far with it. Oh, hey! The tree's growing! It just grew another branch! Hopefully it grows really fast and very strong. Let's see how much bone meal we can get. We have 19 Ferrandale bits. I really, really, really want to see that tree come into fruition really big. So I wonder how much bone meal we're gonna have to have. Hi, little dragon. I don't know what to name him, too. You guys need to give me name suggestions for him. We have eggs. Any bones? We can't yet turn bear- we have 12 bone meal there. We can't turn those into bone meal. Okay. 
bone block. Oh, with the bone meal? Okay. We can turn these into eggshells from my mod, and then turn them into 34 of those. Let's skip the night. Let's see what we can do with that tree. That is so cool. Imagine the big tree with big roots draping down. I think the dark oaks are the ones that do that, but still a spruce would be super cool. Let's grow that tree. Let's make that tree really big. Okay, well, it's it's grown into not yet a full block. Oh, psh, psh, wow. <laughs> the leaf broke right when I stepped on it. But see how it's going to branch out into like this big Christmas tree? That is going to look so cool. That is going to look really awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. And the roots coming through the ceiling. That's awesome. That memorializes that entire structure as something special. Let's grab this sapling. And then imagine a pathway, a nice big pathway leading right from the bridge to the animal shelter. That's gonna be so cool. This is gonna be the everything bin. It'll have all my animals. Everything bin! Yes! Everything bin is coming into fruition! Oh, wow! Well, I think that should conclude an episode of Farinland. <laughs> we worked on the everything bin and grew a really big tree. Um, this was actually so much fun. I missed just commentary like this instead of like the cut scenes video footage. I tried that for many episodes. And it's fun playing without the need to talk. But shorter episodes like this feel a lot more special to me. Let me know what you think, and I need names for my little green fieldworm dragon that I'm trapping in the house right now until I look up how I tame him, and I need a name for my cockatrice from Ice and Fire. So we have Magma and Flora. Thank you again, Lord Griefington, my dear friend, for those wonderful name suggestions. <laughs> um, thanks again, that really means a lot, and thank you to all of you who did also give some name suggestions for those dragons. I really liked all of them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a, f have a fantastic and magical day. Bye, everybody! See you later! Thank you so much for watching. Your support brings me great lengths. You can consider taking a look at my Etsy shop at misswillowartistry.com. That's the best way to support me continuing to craft. I update frequently and have a lot of fun doing so. Have a magical day!